How are you? Doing well. Hi. Coffee with a Cop is an opportunity for citizens and police officers to meet one-on-one -on -one over a cup of coffee to discuss whatever a citizen might want to, uh, to, to discuss with an officer, whatever's on their mind. Coffee with a Cop is a program that we instituted to give the citizens an informal way to interact with officers, address questions about their neighborhood, or just talk. It's just a way to open up the lines of communication with the citizens of Wheat Ridge. People can ask any questions they want without having to come to the police department. I just chat, they can ask questions about their neighborhood, crime, traffic. No, this is just an informal thing to talk with citizens about any issues, questions. Lots of times it's, you know, have there been problems in my neighborhood? Um, or this happened in my neighborhood and I want you to know about it. You know, I've had speeders on my street, things like that, you know, can you help us with that? Issues, so anything. Oftentimes when police officers contact citizens, whether it's on a traffic stop, might be on a, a crime uh, contact as a witness, we don't have the opportunity to have that kind of communication take place. So this provides a form for that kind of communication to occur in, in a location that's convenient for the citizens and we make it convenient for them to show up and talk to us. There are regulars here, there are groups of people who come in every morning. You just get to know them and there are things they know about the city that we'll never know. And by talking with them we find them out. There are more eyes and ears. Uh, they add to our effectiveness. That's a big part of what we do here. We get that. I, you know, I saw this and it looked kind of funny but I didn't want to bother you. And it's like, no, bother us. You know, I didn't think uh, Janet had a son that age but they backed up the truck and they were loading stuff in. And I and, and you get it after the fact when you talk to the neighbors, and, but, but I didn't want to bother you and I thought, well, maybe it was just this or that. Everything's tied to crime prevention because the more we know, the better we can address issues and that's what's important here. We'll respond to a burglary and after the fact, we'll talk to a neighbor and say, oh yeah, I saw a car there. I saw this backed up and I thought something was funny, but I didn't want to bother you. And we want to let people know it's not a bother to us, that's why we're here. You know, we run five or six cars on a normal patrol shift. And that's not enough to see everything. If something doesn't look right, call us. We'd rather come in and find out it's just the neighbor's son-in-law picking something up and say, okay, great, or stop a burglary in progress. Just let people know what's going on or if something you know is happening in the city that you should know. You know, If you told me, oh yeah, I live on uh, Ward Road. Well, you know what? On Ward Road, we had this problem. Maybe keep an eye out for it. Yeah. We let people know it's not a bother to contact us. You can contact us at any time. Over the years, communities have come to rely on their law enforcement officers and their police departments to solve the issues of crime and quality of life kinds of concerns that they have in their community. And it's really more than that. We really have to have a community that is engaged in solving those kinds of problems that really concern citizens. We can, as law enforcement officers, be in certain locations seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The Coffee with a Cop program sets up an opportunity to create that interaction between citizens and the police departments so that we get a better feel, we get a better handle of, of what problems might be occurring in the neighborhood and we can work together with them to address it. When they bring kids in, we have things to give to the kids to interact with them also, let them know that, you know, we're the good guys and it's okay to come and talk with us. Hi! How are you? Would you like a sucker? Do you want to be a police officer today? Yeah, you can have a badge just like mine. It just helps letting people know that we're out there, that we're, we're uh, approachable, um, and that we want to talk to people and we're interested in what they have to say. Oh, you're welcome. You know what? Give them a police car, too. Yeah, look at that. The other piece of that is it really gives the opportunity for uh, you know, a police officer to talk to citizens on a wide range of deals. Most of the um, side streets are 25. Uh, when you come into the city, there are signs posted on basically all the major entrances to the city that says speed limit 25 and less posted. And that's so that on every side street, they don't have to put up a 25 mile an hour speed sign. They will plow it eventually, but they have a priority system for the plowing for the city. And then it goes down the progression to the side streets. And as a matter of fact, on the website, there is even a section on um, the public works snow removal policy. Because I agree, 
Um, cell phones are a huge distraction and they do cause accidents. They do have that now on the highways. That is a law on the highway that the left lane is for passing only and you have to um, go to the right if you're not passing. We're here once a month. Yep, once a month. And just like I said, reason, let people come over and just chat. Community policing is, is essentially a partnership between the community and their police officers to address issues of crime, quality of life, traffic, or other concerns that citizens might have. And it's really a collaborative process and it's a problem solving process where citizens and police officers can work collaboratively to address whatever issues we might have as it pertains to crime traffic or quality of life. And what it allows is the opportunity for community members to, to voice their ideas and to involve them in that problem solving process. So this Coffee with a Cop program is an opportunity for police officers and citizens to, to engage in that kind of communication. The department's really moving to a total community policing mode. We want to get interaction with the citizens, businesses, because we realize we can't do this on our own. Uh, we can't address the major crime problems and issues totally by ourselves, and the days of just responding to calls are over. The whole idea is we have to build a partnership with the city and with the citizens, and this just helps open up those lines, let people know they can come talk with us, that we're available. And we have received a number of commendations from citizens that have just stopped in and said, you know, on this date at this time, this particular officer or community services officer handled this incident and they really did an outstanding job. So it creates a, a forum for communication that doesn't exist currently in, in how we do business. You know, one, one thing great about Wheat Ridge is we're a small enough department that everybody knows everybody. Yeah. It's a really great group of officers uh, and that helps. So our relationship with the citizens has always been good and we've never had that issue of them against us. You know, I got into this profession because I like people. I truly do and I love talking with people. I love talking with the kids, I love talking with the adults. To be successful in this job, you've got to have good people skills and you've got to really like helping people and like interacting with them. Again, that's part of what's great about here. I mean, I've, I've been here 22 years and I love working here. It makes you feel good knowing that you're appreciated, you know, knowing that what you do matters. So, have a great morning. <laughs>